Hey guys, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing another video. My probably my first for a while. And probably the question some of you may have, whether it be uh, trolls or otherwise, maybe, uh, is where have I been and what I've been at what have I been up to? Well, I've been up to uh, lost ten pounds, maybe eleven pounds, if I'm looking for the scale, right? I've um, been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I'm doing a comic book, and I'm trying to get the uh, artist to write the first page. And I'm also doing another album for my project, Pathless Land. And I'm also doing guitar for uh, this other project, Filled with Lies. And we're going to be playing some uh, open mics in the weeks to come. So I've been keeping busy. Also, I have a website, viralawesome.com, which is another... Uh, project of mine where I write articles and you know do stuff like that and get other people to write articles for it so anyways uh, that's been keeping me busy and I've been trying to figure out some ways to make this channel a little bit better and I have not been uh, following up on it as much as I could have been but here's another video and uh, hope you enjoy this so this one is a kind of a more somber serious subject and it, I'm going to call it, going to call it my struggle with mental illness. And so you're definitely going to be happy with this one. So, I mean, it seems that our culture, as with other subjects like sexuality, has its contradictions and its views on mental illness. On one hand, drugs are pushed on, pushed on children to change their state. But on another side, shames people into thinking they can will their way out of having the mental processes they do. So-called crazy people are seen as the scourge of society or the laughing stock, but at the same time, a certain feigned eccentricity is admired as long as it fits the parameters of what is acceptable in our culture or certain subcultures. Of course, one of the most common but also misunderstood parts of the mental health debate and conversation are the anxiety disorders, which I am and have unfortunately been a victim of quite a bit. The reason I say these things are misunderstood is because the Western United States culture seems to be one that shames those with these types of mental illness, both the people's mores and attitudes. I mean, I can point to having debilitating anxiety episodes. You can tell I wrote this out loud. <laughs> the anxiety episodes and being told to man up and relax, which people have done, or whatever attempt at softening the effect that friends, peers, or family have had over the years. The attitude of the culture at hand is that people should be outgoing, loud-mouthed, as long as it fits the societal expectations, that is. Or in other words, unique as long as it fits the consumerist dictation of the day and not quiet, quiet, contemplative, or relaxed. Being pushed towards these norms over the years didn't make the fact that I suffer from OCD some, I don't know, you know, the diagnosis is not really exactly straight on, but it's definitely uh, applies to me. And I'm not saying that in like this modern sense of the slang sense of the word. I have OCD. No, you don't. You don't fucking know what it's like to have OCD. Excuse my language. I know there's family members watching. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just... I don't like... <laughs> getting, I'm controversial because I swear in my videos like many other people do. But anyways, sorry if I flipped anybody off that is family or friends or whatever. Um, so anyways, OCD is a serious medical or mental health condition. Um, it's not something just because you, you know, like to be clean or organized or whatever. And I, I have OCD because I have obsessive thoughts. I have at least obsessive disorder. If not compulsion, uh, depression, social anxiety, which I have been uh, diagnosed. Agoraphobia, which I guess, you know, I don't know if there's an actual diagnosis for that. But more on that later, maybe in some later videos. Generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder, any easier. At this point in my life, it's easy to see certain points and certain actions taken were the result of these mental health challenges. And it's hard to go shake the hands of someone, of everyone at, at uh, certain family member's wedding. So he's like, well, why don't you go out and shake everybody's hand? <laughs> Would you do that? I'm not going to say who this was. It's like, you should go introduce yourself. Stop just sitting there. Blah, blah. It's like, no, I have fucking social anxiety. It's not exactly easy. 
So, and you know, you can't do that when you feel paranoid that every and everybody looks like next to you like you're dumb, ugly, and crazy. And this is the voice, relentless voice in my head that's telling me that that's so. It's hard to sleep at a strange hotel miles away from home and just deal with it when you're afraid you're going to go crazy because you're used to your own bed and everything in your head is telling you that you're going to go you're going to go insane if you try to get to sleep. True fact. I'm not mad at people and what they have expected or said to me about my mental illness or the actions I have taken because of my mental illness. Well, I didn't sound not mad before when I was just saying what I said. But sometimes it's hard to tell if their ignorance is because of a lack of compassion or just plain ignorance. I have, But I have also been ignorant to the fact that a lot of things I have done have not been by my own volition a lot of the time. Choices, But choices I have made because I suffer from somewhat debilitating mental illness. So a little story. You know, in my early 20s or late teens... I actually uh, did qualify for uh, Social Security SSI because of mental mental illness. I didn't take it, and I don't know why I didn't take it, but I guess I felt like I could try to at least you know deal with this stuff. And I've had I've dealt with it, but it's this weird middle ground where I'm not really on this level that other people are. That you know, I see around, but I'm not at the bottom either. So I'm sort of in this weird void, this weird middle, which I do not like. So at my age, it's not really normal to be at this point. You know, you're supposed to have family and kids and all of their career. You know, I'm supposed to be doing that shit. And, you know, I mean, I work at a call center and, you know, everybody around me has kids and they fucking... Well, I'm losing weight. They're gaining weight, so I guess I feel a little bit better. But it's just, it's just, it's just a lot of shit. It's this mediocre middle ground that I don't like. So, anyways, I'm uh, getting a little off track here. So, I mean, even that gets confusing. You know, do I skip a party because I feel like people are going to judge me for the music I like, or just because I think some of the people are assholes, or? Because they judge people for the music they like. Do I get in a good mood and actually talk to members of the opposite sex at a bar I'm attracted to because I happen to not be having that social anxiety flare up, so to speak, that day? It's hard to see what preferences, attitudes towards the world, and my where, you know, where my preferences, attitudes towards the world, and my own mental illness begin and end. It's undeniable that these mental illnesses have, you know, having these. Uh, Mental illnesses have shaped my attitudes towards the world and how I react to it. It's a struggle that I've had to deal with and will continue to have to deal with, but maybe, I guess in some ways, I can hope this struggle gives me something to shoot for, something that I can use as a measuring stick in an age when, you know, as I said before, most other people were just worrying about their mortgage or what grades their kids are getting at school. But on that note, it sucks that the mental illness has slowed me down in life. And left me behind a lot of people. I said most people in the original draft, but I changed that. Though maybe it also makes things simpler in a way. Small successes that many people take for granted can seem like epic efforts to be overcome. And sadly, even after I get such successes or get more clear of these problems for a while, I remember that I'm I'm not quite where I want to be in the progress of overcoming mental illness illness and the cycle starts to all over again with being depressed feeling more full of anxiety etc so there's a lot of things that happen you know it's cyclical you know have I'll be on a roll for a while you know even get a girlfriend or something or you know get a better job and then you know stagnate lose the girlfriend lose sometimes lose the job not usually but you know and things just kind of go in a cycle so, I mean, I did this video to kind of express how I feel and uh, having something for others to relate to, but also because I hope others can look into the way that they are and the doubts they have and see that maybe some of what's at root with their issues have to do with mental illness rather than some dumb choice they made unclouded by such things or just bad luck or bad circumstances. Hopefully we take a better and clearer look at these aspects and we start to change into the people we want to become. Then we can start to change. And you know, as usual, uh, you know, please subscribe. You know, it's gonna gonna be doing a lot more videos. But basically, what what I'm trying to say in this video is that I I think people don't take mental illness seriously enough, 
And I've done, I've been guilty of that myself. You know, I know there's humor and, you know, I can make fun of people for being whatever way they are. And there, there's a room for that. There's room for that. I think, you know, we can make fun of ourselves or we can make fun of others or whatever. But when it, you know, when it boils down to it, it's like, I think a lot of times in my life, I've had these issues and people just didn't understand. They didn't know what, how to deal with it. You know, family members have just, you know, they go the opposite way and punish me. You know, when I was a kid, I was punished by certain people because of these mental health issues I was having. And really, you know, that may have fucked me up more. Um, I'm not blaming them for how I am in life, but it really is, you know, I think some some people have had, continue to have these opinions about it and just did not understand. They just don't get it. And when they try to, like, uh, say, oh, go and do this, go and do that. Well, this person at this age is doing this. La, 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 la. It's like, fuck you, you know? So, I mean, that's basically why I'm doing this video. I wrote this a couple weeks ago, and it's not really you know, in my, my, fresh in my mind as it was, but it really is something that pisses me off. We've got to please be more compassionate and please be more understanding to people. And if anything you can, t if there's anything you can take away from that video, that it's just what I'm trying to say that with that. So, uh, as usual, please subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more videos, blah, 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 as I said before, and, uh, check out some of my other projects. I got uh, some new channels in the works and some new websites even and obviously new music and my comic book, which I'll post a link to the Kickstarter once that is set up and I'll see you.